Hello. Burn me one second. Getting the, the video up. Yeah, I've got live chat on. And we're ready to go. So, no viewers as of yet. Am I actually public? Because it's not even saying zero viewers. I, yeah, of course I am, because I'm on my fucking phone, aren't I? <clears throat> Hope everyone's doing well. Um, to my fellow Lancashire people, um, tier four it is then. If we're in tier four, why the fuck aren't we pulling tier four? Oh, yeah, because they're mass testing. But we're not going to moan because we can't do anything about it, can we? So I've got a comment from Will00788. says, yo. Yo, Will. Hope you're doing okay, no matter where you are. Uh, whether you're in the UK, US, or around the world. Hope you're staying safe. So, yeah. Tier 4, just in time for the new year. Um, and got to be a... 52 on boxing, um, another box that I completely forgotten to um, postpone, especially since now I'm doing the um, the Mikula, not Mikula, the 2 old beer club box, which was still shown at the half price on my invoice, but um, because I having to ship it a bit differently with different paperwork, I think it's going to be slightly delayed this time around, but hey-ho, it is what it is. These things, what the what? What's the fucking point in moaning? Because it'll get you nowhere except, you know, just down in the dumps. So I'm currently waiting to hear from the hospital. My dad has cancer. He's just had an operation. Will double. I'm from Old Scout. Well, very sorry to hear that, Will. Um, I'm glad to hear that he was able to at least have his operation. So I'm wishing you nothing but the best, because I. Can't. <laughs> This shit like that's awful at the the best of times, but with what's going on and with the hospitals being at full capacity and sending very positive vibes to you, my friend. Very sorry to hear that, and I'll raise a glass to you, yours, and of course your dad. After losing someone to cancer, I mean, luckily I was I was a lot younger in my early teens, so it didn't really affect me too much, but um, yeah, wishing you nothing but the best, my friend. And Terry, from Terry's Quick Beer Reviews, says, evening matey, evening Terry, hope you're doing very well yourself. Hope you and yours are doing okay, and everyone who's watching this. I'm wishing you nothing but the best. It's been an absolutely awful year. So just send in as many positive vibes as I possibly can. There's no sarcastic comments about this situation now. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, Adam from Mersey Beer says, Afternoon, Mr. Foster, you cheeky bastard. Um, expecting for Black Lodge stuff tomorrow. Very nice. Looking forward to that and uh, some Black Lodge merch. Uh, but yeah, thank you for, for sorting that out. Adam, hope you're doing well. Uh, now you're up to tier three. But yeah, so doing an unboxing, but of course, having a beer while I do it. Uh, this is from the Suarez Family Brewery out of New York, and this is the Ms. Frank Keller Lager. No idea what the ABV is, because for some reason they don't put it on the can. I don't know why that's not legal, uh, illegal to not put ABVs. The licensing, liquor laws, and all that sort of stuff in America is so fucking ass backwards. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? There's breweries who... There's people in the States who would struggle a lot more than I would to get hold of this. Bear me one second. interruption there but um yeah it's really nice actually look at that oh it's too cloudy <coughs> oh, 
excuse me. Paul says, have you drank in the village in and scam? Um, I have a few times. It's one of my dad's favourite places to go for a drink. And I've, before lockdown, I hadn't been, or before all this kicked off, I hadn't been there for absolutely ages. To be honest, I've not really drank much in Scam these past few years. Um, basically, the Hare and Hounds is pretty much at the top of the hill, so that's where I'd usually go um, with family and stuff and when friends came around. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I've never really drank around Scam uh, in the past few years because there's some really good little pubs. I um, always used to go to the Prince William. Um, at the Beaker because we go like the driving range on Sunday and go to Prince William and then have some food but I think they had to close down didn't they but um, yeah I'll have to once this is uh, once we get some non form of normality proper fancy doing a, a scam pub crawl do you know what I mean go to, like the market gate the busy gate and stuff uh, Adam says, yep, still could do takeout, but might be a week or so before I can drop off at yours due to today's announcement. Mate, no need to worry about it. No need to worry at all. Um, whenever is best and most sensible for you. Um, it, there's no rush. I've got plenty of beer uh, to last me. So whenever is best for you, to be honest. Last thing I want is for you to get pulled over by the scam plod. Do you know what I mean? Sound like a dickhead saying scam plod, but it is what it is at the end of the day. Uh, yeah, it should. Prince William, I think your dad is a mate of my mum's. All right. Who's your mum? Well, I don't know if you want to put that out publicly. But, um, yeah, because I'm sure I remember on the vlogs you uh, mentioned you drove past or something like that from earlier in the lockdown. Interesting. But thank you for watching. Anyway, so let's get the unboxing sorted. So, no address. Beer 52, completely forgot about this. Um, just in time for New Year, so that's me New Year's beers sorted. Skem busies, mate. Yeah, exactly. So they, they parked up um, at, you know, way across the road of Bargain Booze, just proper like looking for people uh, having more than one person in the car. And uh, I recognize that. I'm not going to read it out, of course, but I recognize that name. But um, I'll have to talk to my dad about that, actually. What a small fucking world that is. Anyway, so I don't know what the theme of this is. Um, oh, well, I do now because it's Melbourne. Yeah, I was I was really wanted to skip this box just because I, I don't know don't know what it is. I just because I've got the two old stuff coming and I've spent loads over Christmas, loads of beers that I've not drank yet. Um, so I, I did legitimately forget about it. And uh, the next box is uh, it's like is that going to be a Belgium? Belgian box with Belgian beers for Belgian breweries. Oh, YouTube's top um, mod racist nonce is going to love that one, isn't he? I might skip that one because I'm just... Don't get on with Belgian beers. Although I think I should give them a little bit more chance. Uh, I think the Social Club in Tannhaus one... I drank in the Social Club in Tannhaus. Oh, fucking hell. Tannhaus, dickhead. Put me off drinking in Skemp. I give the new one by Asda a go after COVID. The minus peg isn't too bad. It's you know, your typical sort of Marston's pub. Food isn't isn't bad at all, actually. Do a nice steak and ale pie. Uh, do you know Jay Loins by any chance? See, the name rings a bell, but I think our Rob... See, our Rob always comes up to me saying, oh, I was talking such and such. And there was like, I don't remember that name. I'm terrible, absolutely fucking wank with names. Um, but I'm sure I do recognise that name. Minus Peg is really good. Yeah, I've been there a few times. Uh, I do like I do like these sort of chain pubs because you know you're going to get some decent food. Uh, the beer selection was all right. I think I had pedigree or something like that. 
But um, yeah, I do really need to pull my finger out once this is all over with so I can actually have some proper drinks in Skem. Because I'm, I'm like going over to like Liverpool or to Manchester or meeting up with people in like Leeds and stuff. But there's, there's untapped potential in Skem. And it'd be good to go back to the places where I used to drink when I was a teenager. Does your Rob sing? He does, but uh, in his band Apostles, it's George that sings. But he does his own sort of stuff, which he'll probably never release. But he, he's done he's done some live stuff for um, like the engine rooms when they were doing those sort of uh, live streams. And he did a Christmas song that he put on his Facebook. But he's a good singer and he's a good guitarist. But um. Yeah, by the way, shout out to the Apostles, up and coming scam band. Biggest thing since, well, you could say the Endeavours, Big Bad Bora, uh, Stormy Corner. Uh, I think to all discount again for you due to delivery delay. Oh, fair dues. I mean, I, I'm, I'm okay to pay the full whack. Um, but it is what it is. Anyway, so we've got the Melbourne box. Obviously, you get your Ferment magazine, which I never really read. Uh, the snacks in this one. Ollie's pretzels, salted original. I'm sure they did these last time and they were all right. I've got loads of pretzel snacks for some reason. So we'll get into the beers. First up, we've got a beer from Moondog, and this is uh, the Old Mate Pale Ale. I'm actually all right with this box because the Australian sort, of, Australian New Zealand breweries don't really, I haven't really had a chance to to drink much because I can't just be giving them. Every month, like uh, Simon from Real Ale Craft Beer, can I? Um, Lucy says, Lucy Foster, evening Lucy. Peter, do you know Jack me off? Sorry, 10 year olds can't watch this stream, Lucy, I'm afraid. Your Rob will definitely know RJ then because our James Band called The Fossa and he plays in the engine room. I'll have to uh, talk to him about that. Um, I probably do know. It's just I'm, I'm terrible with names. I'm really terrible with names, faces, people. I'm just a, a shitty human being in general. And then Lucy says, bye. Don't let the door smack you on the arse on the way out. God, so fucking dickish. Apologies. All right, next up. We've got the um, Cthulhu on the Moon Black IPA, 6.5%, 375ml can from Kaiju Beer. I like the look of that artwork on that, actually. Cthulhu with a, a hop for a nose. Should be good. I've been slowed again into my Black IPAs recently. Then we've got, uh, let's see, from Melbourne's oldest um, independent brewery, beer blended by Free Ravens. Free Ravens Brewery, and this is a can of this salted caramel shake, which is a milkshake IPA. I like the look of that can. What size is this can? 375 millilitres again. Nice looking artwork on that. Then we've got a Siren beer, um, which is the Out Too Far. Um, let's see. Bear one second, I've been shouted at. You know who you are. Um, let's see. 
Most Beast says, one good thing about engine rooms is it has Punk IPA in bottles. For not too expensive, best craft you can expect in Skelmersdale. And uh, he also says you never come to Liverpool. Um, that's true, actually. Um, I do tend to opt for, for Manchester, going against me uh, family roots, of course. Um, so this is a collaboration with Sailor's Grave and Arizona Wilderness. Okay, sounds good. Sea buckthorn, sea salt and waves of aromatic hops add subtle salinity and clean citrus notes to a deliciously crushable hazy pale ale. Very nice. Nice bit of siren there. And then we've got another can from Moondog, and this is the Cake Hole which is the Black Forest Stout, clocking in at 6.5% ABV. Yay, cherries in the stout. Not a big fan of cherries in stouts. But it is what it is, isn't it? Let's see. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if I was up to date in comments then. But I'm not. Uh, next up, another can from Mad Dog, and this is a Splice of Heaven, which is a pine lime ice cream IPA, which sounds interesting. Um, and it, it's got like spiel on there, but I'm, I'm not going to go through it because uh, I'm a lazy bastard. That's why 6.5% again. I do like their artwork, um, Moon Dog. <laughs> Then we've got a can from Hop Nation Brewing Company, and this is the Heart Pale Ale, 4.6% ABV. Nice, simple looking can. Very much looking forward to uh, delving into these, actually, considering I wanted to skip this box. There we've got another can from Hop Nation, which is the Karma Oatmeal Stout, clocking in at 5% ABV. And very nice. It's quite a striking image uh, on that one. Uh, Adam says, Snyder's now in the American Isle in Sainsbury's. Jalapeno and onion flavours. Jalapenos were sold out. Jalapeno is um, probably my favourite flavour. In fact, Snyder's jalapeno is my favourite beer snack. But I'll tell you what. These uh, honey mustard and onion ones are really good as well. You can tell I'm a fat bastard because I've got different snacks next to me bed. It is what it is. <coughs> I'll have a heart attack in two years. It's all good. Uh, then we've got uh, another can from... I forgot the name of these already. Uh, Three Ravens. And this is the... Juicy IPA, number three, which is a New England IPA. Nice sort of 70s retro artwork on that one. And then last, but by no means least, got another can from Kaiju, and this is the Metamorphosis IPA, 6.7% ABV. And nice artwork on that one as well. So, quick look at the comments before um, I continue. Uh, Adam says, that's the one I meant. I got them. Being ignorant, messaging on a live stream. It is what it is. Worst beer tuber on the planet, of course. So, yeah, that's the uh, unboxing of uh, Beer 52's Melbourne box. Uh, thank you all for joining me. Uh, it's nice to, to chat to you, Will. And I'll definitely talk to our Rob about that. Uh, thank you to Adam, Lucy, um, 
Terry, of course, the legend that is Terry from Terry's Beer Review. Six people watching. You and not Raggy. Outrageous. I know the king of beer tube. Um, but hey ho, buzzword beer 52. That's how you get the views. That's how you get all of six live viewers. And then probably 30 to 40 views after this has uh, finished and uploaded. And then Steve Jackson 167 says, What's that? I'm not doing the uh, Budweiser what's up because I'm too white and British to do that. Um, take that sentence out of context. Uh, but thank you for joining me. And um, yeah, this beer's gone down pretty well. Um, I've got to uh, end this live stream now because I need to get some food and I've got to uh, grovel a little bit to the person I was messaging. But it is what it is. My new favourite saying, it is what it is. So if you tried any of these beers um, from any of these breweries, then let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Bear me one second. Interrupted again. Cheeky bastards. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, I hope you're able to have a nice New Year's Eve and an even better New Year. And uh, hopefully this vaccine, as Matt Wankcock has said, uh, could bring a little bit more normality by spring. But I'll believe it when I see it. Anyway, so cheers for watching. Um, yeah, I'll review as many of these as I can. Uh, can't promise anything, though. Especially with New Year's Eve being tomorrow. I'll probably just drink quite a few of those. But um, yeah, anyway, cheers for watching, folks. Everyone who's joined and everyone who watches this once it's uploaded. And I don't think I'll be doing any more unboxings, really, for the rest of this year. So, yeah. Although I might do some lives. Um, you never know. Well, I've got two days to do some lives. Um, well, one night and a full day. Um, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, cheers for watching, everyone. Everyone take care. Everyone stay safe. And uh, I'll see you all later. Cheers. And um, this is the awkward part where it doesn't actually end.